Anyhow, we have seen the difference between uh, PMF and CDF uh, with respect to rolling a single fare the example. But let's explore more. So probability mass function versus cumulative distribution function CDF. And uh, this is how it looks uh, if you put them in graph. So Sx, uh, that's our sample space, is equals to x1. And that sample space set consists of, because it's a discrete, random variable capital X it consists of x1 value x2 value x3 value x4 value only four values now if you have to make it a probability mass function PMF then this is how you this is what the plot you got x1 x2 x3 x4 and the total of it is px of capital uh, px of uh, x is equals to 1 the total summation of all the probabilities is 1 but when it comes to the cumulative distribution cumulative distribution function cdf uh, and x1 this is the x1 probability uh, after that x1 got added to the x2 x1 plus x2 become this level then this plus this has become this level x3 and you can clearly see the cumulative and finally the last one the last event got the probability which is equal to the one and that's what had happened even for the rolling a die uh, for the cumulative probability of uh, cumulative distribution probability of uh, six has become six by six it's one and that's what you you can clearly see that so this is that's why we denote it as f x of x and this is p x of x because this is a mass function and this is uh, your cumulative distribution so the probability mass function and the cumulative distribution cumulative distribution function are two different ways uh, to describe the probability distribution of a discrete random variable the PMF gives uh, the probability of each possible value that, uh, that the random variable can take on while the CDF gives the probability that the random variable is less than or equal to a given value and that's what you can see on the screen here.